فَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ أَتِيَ اللَّهِ أَتِيَ الرَّسُولُ أُولُ الْأَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ And always a reminder for myself and abdukul aji su da'eefu, miskeenu, zalim, jahalim but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and alhamdulillah in this immense month of Shabban and Azam, the beloved month of Sayyidina Muhammad in which to be dressed from immense blessings and barakah and alhamdulillah that Allah granted its beginning to be blessed with the birth of Imam al Husayn as salam, Imam Zayn al Abidin as salam, Imam al Abbas salam, and that the immense souls and family of Sayyidina Muhammad dressing and blessing this holy month, inshaAllah. This is a, the eighth lunar month and the secret of 72 that every gate and every holy event we celebrate on the 27th night and it's a mirror and a reflection into the heavenly kingdom, the realm that's not seen and the mirror of 27 which is the gate into the heavens which is the reality of 72 and that is the month of Shabban. Everything are clues that direct us for the seeker. Like uh, the ultimate video game in which you continuously move on this way of marifa to pick up the trail and the secrets that Allah gives for the seeker whom is seeking. They have to have a love in which yearning drawing them to that Divine the Presence. And this Shams al-Ma'rifa, these 12 veils of dressings upon the eternal light and the reality of Prophet as we draw to the eighth veil and the significant realities of nine, it brings seventy-two. And the seventy-second name of Allah al-Mu'akhir, the one whom delays and delays the punishment of His servant. And Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam's key to that name is Al-Makin, the firm one, the one who makes it to be firm the path of the believer. And that by the virtue of Allah delaying, the ni'mat is to delay. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs. Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Penish punishment and that Allah doesn't give retribution immediate for the actions that are done wrong. Allah's infinite rahmah and mercy to this nation is to delay their judgment, to delay their punishment giving the servant the time to repent, remorse and to ask Allah's forgiveness, to do, do, do good deeds to cover what wrong and what was done that would have angered Allah This is the hijab of guidance, to be guided these lights that Allah anciently dressing the light of Prophet for hidayat and guidance. And the dhikr of Subhana man lam yazil wa la yazal, glory be to whom is the existence it never ceases and does not vanish and who does not vanish. InshaAllah we'll recite the 72nd surah that guiding this month and drawing the souls of Arifin and Ashiqeen.
that pulls them into this reality of guidance, this is the parda of this month and this is the surah of Qur'an in which drawing their souls, these ashiqeen and arifeen into the deep reality and the love and the ishq of Allah and that only can be found that immense love in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So inshaAllah we'll recite Hajj Shahid verse 16 and verse 17. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Wa an lavistaqabu ala tariqati la asqaynahum ma an ghadaqa لنفتنهم فيه ومن يعرض عن ذكر ربه يسلكه عذابا صعدا صدق الله العلي العظيم صدق الله العظيم وبركت رسول الكريم يا حبيب العظيم <clears throat> in which Allah mentioning tariqah and Qur'an that every month and every time we arrive at this month is immense reminder. When people say that, where's tariqah mentioned in Qur'an? So everything is mentioned in Qur'an, unfortunately we rely upon people whom give their interpretation and falsely hide words or misinterpret words to satisfy their understanding. And clearly Allah mentions tariqah in this month of guidance, in this surah of guidance and in this holy month of Shaban, the month of Sayyidina Muhammad <clears throat> Where am I on this inshaAllah? And Allah revealed to them that if they had only remained on their tariqah, istiqamu and firm upon their tariqah, we would have given them an abundant provision. And the actual word is my. That we will shower immense water upon them, istiqamu fi tariqatit means that hold firm to your path and root yourself deep into that reality. And Allah in a month of guidance is, is giving to us a sign that your, your testing will be heavy. The path is not something easy but one must root themselves on their path. You tie down like a mountain climber, you watch a show on mountain climbing, you see how much these people tying themselves onto that mountain. <coughs> they put a peg, they put it into a crack, they put the rope until the next one comes and next one comes. And Allah is giving for us that istiqamu fi tariqat it. That this path of guidance, this month and love of Sayyidina Muhammad said, not something easy, that you're going to be shaken in every type of direction through what you believe, what you understand, through every type of testing and shaking and Allah is giving to the servant istiqamu fi tariqatid. And if you stay firm to that, we shower you with an abundant flowing of water. They interpret the water as a provision and alhamdulillah in the month of Qamar same Allah same Allah gave as a grant and a, and a gift that, Ya Rabbi I have overcome by shaitan over attacking me and destroying everything that I'm trying to do of my ibadah and my worshipness. And Allah said, don't worry fata'abwa bi sama wa mayan munhamiran. And we will shower upon you the, from the gates of heaven water upon you, means a symbol of rain and water and rizq and sustenance. 
is that Allah gives even for you a physical sign that when you see that water coming down it's a rahmah. That's why rain is a rahmah. And that's physically for us to understand because the people whom their faith is based on what they see, touch and feel is a reminder that hold firm to your path and that Allah is dressing the soul. Is the rizq and, and the sustenance is not necessarily the money and provisions and property and the things of material benefit. The most benefit is the one whom is dressed by their soul, that the love they're being taught is dressing on their eternal soul. Nobody can take that out of your soul. No matter you become heedless, you become ignorant, you become crazy, at some point in time that love has been put into your soul, put into the deep depth reality of one's being. That on the day of mashar, yawm al-mashar when they rise from the dead or in the grave when they're having difficulty that love was planted. If their nafs fooled them and their nafs deceived them but the soul understood these realities, the soul ate from these realities, the soul achieved from these realities. Allah giving the soul the reminder, the istiqamu fi tariqat means that keep that body that you're with that being that you're with and root deep into your path. And the tariqah is the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad And that Allah give abundant rain, abundant may. means every type of provision to open upon that servant, their soul, their being, their wujud and that's the most important provision. For the one whom is rich upon their soul, dunya opens without even a question for them. Because the hard one was to get the provision of the soul, where in dunya everyone is, is running for the provision of their dunya. They busy themselves so much in dunya they forgot their soul, they forgot the reality of the soul. You say, did you do your service to your Lord? Everyone is being taught that do your service. You know the priority in which you do your service shows and tells a lot about ourselves. That when we want to serve Allah we put that on the last of the list. And those whom feed us and give us we put them on the top of the list. And this is a, a teaching into istiqamu fi tariqat and the teaching that if your soul has been taken care of, your khidmat and service for your soul has been done, your worshipping has been done, your zikr has been done. If everything that Allah wanted for us has been done, the provision will be provided without a doubt because the fountains of water will be running. It's the actual exact opposite of the material world. Where the material world says, no, 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 you run for your provision. And if you should have a time or a break then think about Allah. But the, it's a chasing a shadow. If you're running after dunya and not the one whom truly paying you is Allah You're running for the wrong boss. And this is the, the way of marifah and the people of the soul and light they understood. That when we satisfy the soul and our service is for the soul, our achievements are for the soul, then Allah's promise is true, then everything else I've already taken care of. Means satisfy Allah before we satisfy the material world. Be of service to Allah before you serve the material world. If we live a life like that then the fountains of abundance dressing upon the servant. Then the most important abundance is the abundance of the soul. Means that I'm still coming and I'm still sitting, I'm still tuning in, I'm still wanting to learn, I'm still wanting to love Sayyidina Muhammad That is a great gift by Allah For if the heart begins to waver and say, you know I don't need to tune in this week. I don't need to tune in in two weeks, I don't need to tune in after three weeks. And shaitan has taken that servant, 
and as if Allah has forgotten that servant. So this is the, is the greatest gift that Allah loves you and remembers you and calls to you to come to my remembrance, come to this ibadah, come to the worshipness. Then what ayah 17, this was ayah 16 about the abundance. Ayah 17 that after holding firm istiqamu fi tariqatit so that we may test them therein and whoever turns away from the dhikr of Allah his Rabb he will put him into a immense punishment. Adaban Sa'adan. So it's not something small that when Allah guides a servant and brings them into the tariqahs, bring them into the path of marifah, bring them to the tables of love and divinely love of Sayyidina Muhammad it's a responsibility that you've got that seat and it could be on your couch, it could be coming live and Allah is asking from us, what is it that you're going to do with it? That hold firm to your path, that put your faith into action, do your practices, do your khidmah, do your service, do your charity, do all the, the ibadah and the worship that Allah has asked of us and as a result I dress you from fountains of abundance, abundance that we can't imagine where it comes from and how much it comes from. Anyone who watches the news on a nightly basis should be crying, Ya Rabbi how you save me. That I see these people they take these shots, many died, they took it and immediately collapsed. Many people have this, many people have horrific difficulties. And Allah guides us, dresses us, blesses us, gives us this love, this ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad Then asks of us that, I gave you this opportunity, what will you do with it? Then people think that they have the ability just, well I don't, just I'm not going to do the dhikr anymore. Allah then warning in Ayatul Kareem that, we gave you all of this but if you should leave the remembrance of Allah because it's very different. Allah wants us to understand, Prophet wants to understand that in the verses of Surat An-Nur, I don't allow my name to be mentioned and I only allow my name to be mentioned in their homes, means it has to be by the permission of Allah So when Allah takes the care for His servant that I am giving and writing a permission that you will be allowed to mention my name and the love of my beloved Sayyidina Muhammad This is a gift of gold, beyond the weight of gold, nothing that we can understand of it. And then on this ayah Allah is warning that if you should walk away from this remembrance there's an adab of immense difficulty coming. Because Allah is greatly insulted. But I told you before in the Qur'an that I don't allow my name to be mentioned. Who are you to walk away from the remembrance of my name? If I lift my hand from you, you're under now the toy of shaitan and every type of difficulty that shaitan is putting upon mankind, especially now we can see that. We can see the horrific, horrific display of what shaitan is doing and how he ridicules their face and their body. You know he hates the surah, he hates the face of mankind because it's dressed from a Divinely light that he thought he was going to receive, wajik al kareem. You know the insan they inherit the face from the Divinely face. The true inheritor of that face is the face of Wajik al Kareem of Sayyidina Muhammad who looks to the Divinely face. And as a result this creation of Adam and Eve they can inherit from that holy face. And that Allah I created this creation in my image. <laughs>
Why? Because it's in the reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad And look how shaitan goes and, and defames and desecrates. People are worried about breaking statues and look, oh they broke this statue, they did this and they did some graffiti on the walls. And you look at that and say, look how angry Allah must be that you did graffiti on His creation. Here if you have a nice and beautiful building, the <laughs> somebody comes with a spray paint and decides they're going to paint your buildings, how angry you get. Because see who these people did like this and destroyed my building. What do you think of Allah Because I created you with my two hands, I blew into you from my spirit. I gave you this Muhammadan haqqaiq that you don't know about, the shaykhs are teaching you about. And then you went and marked your face. You see now they have all these markings all over their faces because shaitan knows. He knows how to blaspheme, he knows how to anger Allah against this creation and that's the danger. The one whom steps away from the remembrance thinking they're clever, thinking they'll take a break, thinking that whatever they want to think. Allah is giving, it's not the shaykh saying anything, it's not the shaykhs making up things. It's all Holy Qur'an is reminding the servant, there's a big adab, the one who walks away from all of this is a tremendous difficulty. Why? Because Allah merely pulls the barakah and leaves this one for shaitan. And look what shaitan is doing to people and the difficulty that he casts upon people and their lives and their families and their communities. We pray that Allah's rahmah and mercy dress us, that's why this path is based on love. Even the bringing of food, a cake, a celebration for holy souls. We don't have to, to, to do enormous deeds but we have to be consistently good deeds. We put our faith in action for those souls whom Allah love beyond our imagination for the sake of their love, we gave out thousands of meals this last week and the week before and every week. And we dedicate those in the light of those souls and these holy souls and these holy companions so that Allah's rahmah and grace be upon ourselves, our family and our communities. The people look to a stock and they say, oh look, look how the shareholder returns, look at the amount of shares that are out there, this is a good stock to own. If I own this stock, oh it's going to be a great retirement. Well, look at the, the actions of this community from SMC and the Fatima Zara Muslim charity site and all the actions that are five different locations on this earth. For tariqah, we're competing with very large organizations that's a, like a stock return that join the community. And share in all of these eternal returns of all these people whom putting their faith into action and showing, not talking and sitting from nowhere just uh, doing nothing but that the people are getting up, they're motivated, they want to go out and feed, they want to make a difference, they want to help people. Almost 1800 wells now, 1600, 1500 wells are coming out. All these thousands and hundreds of thousands of pounds of food being rescued and distributed. Five different mobile vans in, in three different continents. So alhamdulillah that this is the, the best stock to own, this is the best community to participate for Allah that if you are from a community you share in their good deeds. And we pray that Allah inspire people to take a look and see all these actions, to participate in these actions, to build their love for Sayyidina Muhammad and to put their faith in action for themselves, their families and communities and never step away from the remembrance of Allah that never too tired to, to participate, to love and to be active within the community. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. 
Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.